Hello, YouTube. Now today, on this beautiful fall day, I got a topic for you that you know, lately just kind of been itching on me. I just, I wanted to leave it alone and tried to leave it alone, but it's just been itching and itching and itching. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you have heard about fake news. You have heard about fake media. But, have you heard about fake YouTube? That's right, people. A lot of the stuff on YouTube is not real. From the videos to the people on it. What do you mean by that? Well, YouTube is a platform for entertainment. For the people that watch it. For the creators that put stuff on there, it is a platform for them to get noticed, for people to see their content, and for a lot of us, make money at. Anytime you put money into an equation, you are going to have people doing what they can to take advantage of that equation. Now, of course, we've all seen the clickbait thumbnails, the clickbait titles, but that's not what I'm talking about. Take, for instance, a couple months ago, before this ad apocalypse 2.0 or whatever started, everybody was talking about making their money elsewhere, that if YouTube took the ads away, they would be all right. Most of their money did not come from YouTube ads. Okay, now fast forward to now, and you have everyone and their brother complaining about how they're going broke, how they're gonna have to pick up real jobs. And this and that, because YouTube ads are not, their videos are not suitable for all ads. Basically, YouTube is limiting the ads that it puts on their videos. In which case, it is limiting their revenue. Now, to be honest, this is not a good thing for us creators. And it's forcing a lot of them to straighten up their content a little bit and this and that but like I said you go back a couple of months ago and you hear people talking about how it wouldn't affect them and now they're crying about it something's just not right something's not adding up either they were getting more money from ads than what they thought or either they're jumping on the bandwagon of the trending and they're making these complaints so that everyone will feel sorry for them. Now, if that's all it was, is just trying to get jump on the trending and make people feel sorry for them, that would be one thing. But there's other ways that they're, they're doing that I won't go into. then you, you hear them all fussing about their view counts. Their view counts are going down. YouTube's not pushing on this and that. Well, if you look at a lot of these people that are, their view counts are going down and YouTube is not pushing them. If you, your video is not suitable for all audience or all advertisers, then YouTube's not gonna make as much money off of it if they're pushing you. So of course they're going to push someone where they can make more money on it. But the other side of that, 
you watch a lot of these where their view counts are going down and it's the same content the same video that they made two months ago they're still making it the same thing they ride down the street they get gas talk about where they're going sell their merch and then the video is over a lot of people might enjoy that but to be honest not really my cup of tea i prefer getting out here showing different things enjoying different parts of my area like that car So that you're not seeing the same thing over and over and over in every video. So if you're going to do that, and you're going to show them the same thing over and over and over again, you're going to do the same thing over and over and over again. Like you can just get out here and. Ooh, I'll pop Willy, I'll pop a Willy. Eventually that Willy's gonna get old. People are gonna quit watching. They're gonna move on to some other content. You gotta keep it changing. YouTube is changing. People gotta change with it. That doesn't mean completely change your niche completely do something different maybe just do something different within what you're doing listen to your audience see what they want to see unfortunately my audience is still too small to let me know what they want to see so either that or they're really polite and they're just watching my videos to watch them and uh they, want to, they don't want to tell me that I suck. But to sum it all up, yes, you do have fake news. The news is ran by the government. Always has been. Even before Obama brought it in officially and said it was being run by the government, the government did censor it. Yes, you do have fake media. You got people all over Facebook just trying to run a story, trying to get internet famous. But you do also have fake YouTube, good and bad. Now we all enjoy a good story, a good video. But when you think about it, do you really enjoy being lied to? Hopefully I haven't lied to you or told you any misinformation and you enjoy the videos Go ahead and look down there at the bottom hit that subscribe Leave me a comment Let me know what you think about this one How fake is YouTube?